Hello Aquarius, welcome in to Sage, Sunset Healing Tarot. Thank you for being here. These are your love messages for the week. So we're going to be taking a look at what's to come in your energy of love. Aquarius, these are going to be general messages. So they may not all apply to all of you. To book a personal reading, visit uh, Sage, Sunset Healing .com for personal readings. Alright Aquarius, so someone is definitely in love with you here. Someone wants to say something to you. They really badly have things to express to you from their heart, their throat. It's a lot like they've been holding on to how they really feel. Not saying Aquarius. This could be water sign, Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio. Let us continue with the laying out of the rest of your spread. Aquarius, I don't know, man. I feel like you're dreaming again. It's someone that maybe it, this this energy, the Jack of Hearts, is your energy, and you're so in love with someone that you find so super attractive. I feel like someone is really tired, and I feel like someone is also very sincere. I feel like someone is tired, maybe wants a break, but it's hard for another person to let go, to disconnect, right? So maybe someone needs to dream again or is having a bit of trouble starting over letting go disconnecting from what is or really learning lessons from an experience so you that they can take it and move forward because someone is being blocked or denied you know what i mean i'm not sure if this is you or this is the person you want to connect with i feel like you could be leaving on earth a fire sign behind someone that like i say is very attractive like you are so attracted to this person or this could be you how this person feels about you it's a lot of attraction here with the fire energy but someone wants a rest. Someone may feel like they made a wrong decision or this could be an opportunity for you to make the right decision with this information coming through. I do feel like I am right. There's something that you're investing in. It could be a childhood friend, a family. I love this person. You could feel like is your soulmate, you know here it's really true love i feel like in the beginning maybe of your relationship with this person you know there you shared um amazing things together you know you really loved each other you had qualities um i mean where where you both could relate so i feel like this person loved themselves and you loved yourself and it's like it was really a beautiful divine connection between two if this is not a romantic connection aquarius it's someone in your family that you're dealing with i'm feeling your someone is possessing something valuable right now and it could be time and i'm hearing motion right now too oh my god money all right, I said money, but I also heard wisdom. So this someone new could be wanting to come around to you or you could have a new vision. Because remember, I was saying someone is having problems, dreaming again, starting over, maybe disconnecting from a person. But there's a new, a new person wanting to come around, a new life possibly with you. All right. So this like mm, someone from your past, you, twin flame, energy, soulmate, falling in love. So someone values you a lot, person from your past, maybe wants to have a brand new beginning with you, wants to pursue you here. Um, like when I say pursue you, I feel like this person feels like you're their North Star, their their energy. It's like a, an attraction. Like I've, I've been saying with the fire energy, it's an, an intense attraction. Someone may wonder why this person is adamantly wanting to be around them it's like this person feels like they know you remember that this can be the, the roles can be reversed this can be how you feel about someone else you know it's definitely soulmate this person could also be a stranger that like a passerby or something someone you haven't ever spoken to but you feel uh, a certain um a certain sweet feeling or something that makes you feel like yes this person is my soulmate energy but i'm not sure i think you could be wrong or you could make a wrong decision i oh, don't know so really look into that so we see creating love here maybe you're trying to go after this person or but it's like maybe you it's the energy of maybe you think this person is your soulmate and you're like oh my god i'm gonna have to pursue this person i'm gonna um put myself out there so that they can see me and see that we think alike and you know we have there's familiar feelings of love here but it could be a wrong decision to really make take this action 
or make this gesture toward this person that you're attracted to. This person could be tired or something or it, they, 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 the energy that they do in business or something, it takes a lot of energy. They work, they, this person works in energy and um, I feel like they could be very busy, very, very distracted right now. Like I feel like this person has a lot on their mind. So if you approach them, it may not be so wonderful. And I feel like you're really going out of your emotions. You could be having fun or something like that. Going, it's like wanting to dream again right um so it's a decision what it's a decision by desires right that's what the card says so it's your desires that's propelling you to make a decision which could be a wrong one to move toward this person you're attracted to or feel some kind of a soulmate connection so but this i'm telling you this person could secretly i'm telling you they could definitely be your soulmate like your twin flame for real but this person doesn't know that and they're not i feel like this person it's like they're not it wouldn't it would be the wrong decision for you so maybe just allow things to flow this card says new feelings hugs new ideas new chemical formulas <laughs> So really new emotions stirring in you, maybe arousals, new ideas, new feelings. Like you have your maybe you're thinking of approaching this person, like I say, but maybe you could think again. Um, maybe be more creative or be if you're a female, be more feminine. Don't chase. Maybe you don't pursue. You know what I mean? Just allow things to work out. Enjoy the feelings. Enjoy the the the, the strangeness of the situation. And I don't know. Watch how it unfolds. All right, that's what I have for you in this one, Aquarius. It's been beautiful. All right, on the bottom of the deck, what do we have? So we were talking about the four of swords. I was saying, like maybe someone needs to really give it a rest. You see what I mean? Because the four of swords is like meditation energy. Because you could already be dreaming of marriage. Oh my goodness. <laughs> You could be thinking of still wedding bills already, you know, but somebody's saying like, take it easy out there. This card says, thinking about you, wish I had you, um, want to love you, but someone says, um, it's almost like it says no connection or sorry, don't want to connect with you. Thoughts of you comfort me. But I wish I had you. Lonely heart. So someone may be feeling lonely. So it could be you. Like you really want to meet your soulmate twin flame. And so you're ascribing intent. On situations. Or people. That may have nothing to do with. Your true soulmate energy. So really take it easy. Because what is for you is meant. For you my darling. Alright so these are your messages. M much love. Thank you for being here. I hope you found some that inspires you. Can I help you on your journey? I'll see you in the next one Aquarius next week. Right. Take it easy out there. All is within you. Bye.